Hi guys, I'm Punya and I'm almost 17 years old and by almost 17 I mean I turned 17 in less than a week so um yeah and this is my first podcast and honestly I'm kind of excited for you guys to listen to this. So the basic ideology behind starting this podcast is to just let creativity flow in from time to time and I personally believe that one of the very few pros of this quarantine is that it brings out the creativity in all of us. So I've decided to do the things I've always been passionate about. So here I am. This is my voice and you're listening to me. It's around 3 a.m. while I'm recording this and honestly, the things running around my mind about this entire idea are crazy. I'm sure all of us can relate to this at some level. Um, consider this very, very simple situation. You are in your class, dancing around with your best friend like there's no tomorrow. And this teacher walks in that you know does not like you at all. You guys are just there, feeling those random emotions like fear and the major ones being goofy and hilarious. But you don't care anyway because you're with your best friend and if you go down, you go down together. So, I mean, I don't think I have to explain further. All of us can relate to it. I'm sure all of us are very familiar with it. So, that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. Goofy and hilarious. And I think that's one of the most striking things about all of us. We've all felt the same emotions in likewise situations with different intensities. And the way we connect and find a common ground of relatability with no strings attached at the same time. Okay. I know it sounded much better in my head. But like, I'll add it to the podcast anyway. So, as I was saying, human emotions are, I believe, the most connecting things ever. There's something we not so often acknowledge and I think we must be honest about them because you don't always feel the same way about a thing or situation as you did back then. Honestly, it's comforting to know that you aren't alone. So, try this. Talk about your emotions to people around you and you'll ease up for sure. Okay, I do acknowledge that sometimes it gets difficult to talk to somebody about how you feel. But just don't go hard on yourself. Try expressing yourself no matter what you feel through something you like doing like painting, singing, dancing or even writing. These activities, they give you the liberty to express yourself while you create a masterpiece of your own. See, teenage does get hard for sure and I think you just don't know how to react to stuff around you and along with the continuous cycle of self-validation, it gets even harder. So you must understand that your struggles, pain and tears, they are very common. Don't be ashamed of them. Talk it out to people like you who understand you. That will lift the burden off your shoulders. Remind yourself that you aren't the only one feeling this way. It's probably just not your day. And when I say that it's not your day, I don't mean to become unaware of these emotions, but rather use that phrase to calm down a little and think about the entire situation with a very peaceful mind. Well, nothing is permanent and this too shall pass. So here's the thing. You don't always feel the same every day, but if you manage to do so, it's all just in your head. If you expect somebody to listen to you silent screaming in the dark, let me tell you this, it's not going to happen. So stop your habit of bottling things up inside your head. Your worst today is just a very small part of the things that that are coming your way. And by saying this, I don't mean to scare you but rather prepare you. And eventually, both of us know you'll pull yourself out of this and everything is going to be okay. So... That was it for my first podcast and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, stay home, stay safe and take care and bye.